Hey, this is John with FixedDirtBike.com, and this is how your two-stroke carburetor works. Fuel flows from the tank into the carburetor bowl. The flow of fuel into the carburetor bowl is regulated by the float valve. The fuel level in the carburetor bowl is regulated by the floats. When the carburetor bowl fills to the correct fuel level, the floats push the float valve into the seat to stop the flow of fuel from the tank. Air enters a carburetor two different ways depending on throttle position. At idle to one quarter throttle, air enters a carburetor through the pilot air chamber and is regulated by the pilot air screw. From one quarter to full throttle, air enters a carburetor through the main opening and is regulated by the throttle valve. The throttle valve is opened by the throttle cable and closed by a spring. The slow jet system consists of the slow jet and the pilot air screw working together to control the air fuel mixture from idle to one quarter throttle. The pilot air screw regulates the flow of air into the pilot air passage. The slow jet regulates the flow of fuel into the pilot air passage. The air fuel mixture is atomized in the pilot air passage and discharged into the carburetor throat to enter the engine. The pilot air screw can be turned in or out to tune the flow of air into the carburetor, in for less air or out for more air. The slow jet can be replaced with a larger number jet to allow more fuel or a smaller number jet to allow less fuel into the carburetor. The needle jet system controls the flow of fuel from one quarter to three quarter throttle. The flow of fuel through the needle jet is controlled by the jet needle. When the jet needle is seated inside the needle jet, the flow of fuel is stopped. When the needle is raised, fuel is allowed to pass around the tip of the needle. The jet needle is attached to and controlled by the throttle valve. The needle height can be adjusted to let more or less fuel into the carburetor. The needle can also be replaced with a different diameter or differently tapered needle to allow more or less fuel into the carburetor. The main jet system regulates the flow of fuel into the carburetor from three quarter to full throttle. The main jet is attached to the bottom of the needle jet. The main jet is engaged when the jet needle is unseated, allowing free flow of fuel from the bowl into the carburetor throat. The main jet can be replaced with a larger number jet to allow more fuel, or a smaller number jet to allow less fuel into the carburetor. Now that you know how your two-stroke carburetor works, tuning will be much easier. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.